What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And we're going to wrap up this 100 meter men final here as it is in the books. And Fred Curley is a champion. Yes, Fred Curley has won gold in this event. Uh, he is now world champion in the 100 meters. His weekend isn't, I mean, his uh, reign here in the world championships isn't done yet. He's also in the 200 meters. But here in the 100 meters, he is the man on top as the Americans sweep, absolutely sweep the podium this year uh, at the 100 meters. Uh, they did it back in 1983 and 91. Both were led by Carl Lewis. So this is the first time in 31 years that they were able to get a clean sleep in this event here at the World Championships. And it was in the home uh, stadium here in Oregon, here in the United States as well. So nice, nice little fit there to do it at home, man. But uh, they beat out Oblique Seville, who came in fourth. I want to break everything down in just a sec. But first, definitely hit that like button as I come on in here. Definitely hit the like button for me, y'all. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you be so kind to send a donation, hit that super thanks button below. Let's get into this. So, uh, Fred Curley, like I said, led the Americans to a sweep. Let's go over these scores real quick. Uh, Fred Curley came in first with a 9.86. And how about this? Marvin Bracey. I'm going to talk about him more in a second, but he had a 9.88. Trayvon Brumell was right behind him in third with a 9.88 as well. It came down to a thousandth of a seconds between those two. Oblique Seville, uh, I, I got nothing bad to say about this kid, but this kid is going to be great. He's going to be fun to watch. He had a 9.97. He was the only other um, runner in this event to hit um, to finish under 10 flat and outside of America, too. Akani uh, Sabine had a pretty nice day. I think, I think he had a pretty nice day. Uh, uh, finishing at a 10.01 Christian Coleman was the biggest disappointment in this whole final with only a 10.01 he was actually expected to be somewhere in that po in that podium on that podium I don't know what happened with, to Christian Coleman uh, Abdul Hakeem Sonny Brown had a really nice weekend as well I think he opened some eyes just to even get to the final for him and Aaron Brown Aaron Brown was also in last but he was another big surprise both of them uh, Hakeem uh Abdul Hakeem Sonny Brown had a 10.06 and Aaron Brown had a 10.07. But those two were very impressive just to even get to the final. Very shocking that they got there. I think these two got these two young men could definitely increase their speed and get up there. Aaron Brown definitely represented because Andre DeGrasse did not even uh qualify for the final so and it was the same thing with oblique seville for the jamaicans uh representing jamaica without johan blake so um I'm, I'm, i think johan blake he's a little older now so i think so you know he's not always going to be expected to make it but i think andre de Garza was the biggest disappointment throughout the whole thing you know he didn't have any injuries to speak of to be even be performing the way he did so i was very disappointed with that one uh, and I think a lot of people were. But uh, getting back to the Americans here, I think Marvin Bracey uh, was the biggest surprise to me. Just all weekend, he looked poised, and he really gave Fred Curley a nice challenge. Look at his score. And if you watch the race, it looked like he almost finished in first. Fred Curley's height, his experience to kind of lean out forward to cross the line is really what did it. But Marvin Bracey got a lot of people going to be watching him now because I think he's going to be one of those Americans. If Fred Curley ever slips a little bit, I think he's going to be the American that people are going to be like, you got to be the one to step up. I think Trayvon Burrell is always taken for granted sometimes. I think Trayvon Burrell is like hit or miss with him sometimes. But he had a nice weekend. And I, like I said, again, with the injury, I didn't think he was going to do this well. Oblique Seville definitely, again, definitely did a good job. I, I got a number of good things to say about him. Akani Sabine is always going to be in the mix. I thought he had a pretty nice day. I think Christian Coleman, like I said, was the only one that I was kind of like, wow, I can't believe he didn't do that well. But, uh, yeah, so the American Sweet, man, let me know um, in the comment section what y'all think. This is the first time, you know, we've seen Americans in one of the major track and field events beat off the Jamaicans. So, uh, although they weren't expected to do much, yeah, I think the ladies are definitely more favored in the 100 meters to win tomorrow. I think the Jamaican ladies, I'm going to actually do a preview for that um, probably next uh, coming up. So definitely be on the lookout for that if you're a Jamaican track fan. 
But uh, I just think that 200 meters is, is going to be mixed. I don't think any. I don't think the Jamaicans are going to sweep, even though most people are thinking they will. But I think that one's got a chance to be mixed. But uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow with that. Uh, but let me know in the comment section what y'all thought. Fred Curley, man, if he could keep this up going through the 2024 Olympics, man, that would be absolutely amazing to see him just dominate Paris. He's going to be a bigger name if he's able to do that, like a Usain Bolt, bro, if he could do it in 2024 he just has to keep this up and stay healthy man and he and i believe he can do it man because the guy is just so powerful but i think marvin bracy man i didn't see him coming man that was that was amazing man but look, but look, again let me know in the comment section what y'all think go ahead and get this video like share subscribe y'all if y'all want to donate to the channel hit the thanks button below and i may leave uh i may have the full race up if i do hit that card in the upper right hand corner or here on the end screen here i'm not making any promises that it's going to be up but if it is you can look for it there i might also have a copy of it the link in the description box i mean um in the uh, comment section so look for it there thank y'all for watching after news the light